Good morning, everybody. Hey, YouTube. Shimmy back from the Shimmy Show. That's me in the mirror. You can see the crazy African guy. How do you know it's me for sure? I got all my vitamins and all my uh, shit in the bathroom and my protein powder and BCAA powder. Don't leave home without it, right? So I'm in this, uh, just in a hotel here in Pattaya, Thailand right now. Looking out the window, you guys can see what the fuck's going on. Looky, looky, looky. Back street of, uh, I'm by LK Metro, Third Road in Pattaya, one of my favorite hangouts. And, uh, yeah, for an American, it's nice watching people drive down the other side of the road. And, hey, there's a guy with a Western motorcycle. How about that? White people. <laughs> you don't see that often. But, yeah, man, these little street vendors are pushing watermelon carts and they're barbecue and fried bugs. And I love this country. It's, uh, it's very fucking cool. So, today's topic... Didn't make the bed up or whatever, but I'm doing a little bit of self-education because I, uh, let me just tell you guys a quick little story here. Sit this thing on the table. Sit, sit. I'm not, not totally naked, but check this out. Uh, damn it, lift the camera up. Fix the lens. Can you see me? See me now? All right, so check this out. For those of you that don't know my history is uh, the internet guy, Shimmy from The Shimmy Show. I'm a webmaster. Uh, I do a lot of projects, mostly porn. <laughs> I do whatever makes money on the internet, right? Subscription-based sites. I sell fucking movies. That's just one of the many things that I do, but I'm pretty good at it, and I've been doing it for a really long time. So a lot of people, they ask me over the years, how did you become a webmaster? Why did you do this? Uh, what's your background? Did you go to school? Shit like that. And uh, the truth is, I'm actually a college university dropout. I went to university for three years, um, San Francisco State University, studying computer science and business administration. But I dropped out like in um, year 1999 because I was making so much fucking money from websites in the 90s, my own sites. I was just grinding away, spamming away when spam was popular. Spam. I mean, just emails were flying like a motherfucker. I was like one of the best spammers on the web. So I dropped out of college, I dropped out of university. I'm doing like stupid, ridiculous numbers back then. And uh, this is why I was able to get married and buy houses and cars and be a racer guy and all that shit at such a young age. A lot of people don't know this about me, but you know, that's my backdrop, my back history before I moved to Canada, got married, married a uh, Canadian woman, baby mama, mama of my kids, Geneva, who I often rant and talk about, but she is the mother of my kids and shit. But, uh, yeah, she fucking ran me through the ringer for money and shit, like a lot of wives do and shit. But uh, this isn't my my life is a living example of what happens when someone with a high IQ marries someone with a significantly lower IQ and you know just lack of resources and shit like that. Love is blind, not really. But that's not what this show is about. Today, this show is about IQ tests and uh, personal IQ levels. I still do educate myself every day. I love reading books. I love audiobooks, YouTube, and I use my internet. I use my YouTube and computer time, Google, for a different shit than what most people do. Like, I don't even have a Facebook account. I'm just now starting to post like little Instagram, and I'll post a Twitter once a week or some stupid video like this, but I mainly use my computer and the internet for educational purposes. Like, I don't watch television at all. I don't listen to the radio. I don't know what the fuck's popular music and shit now. I don't know what you motherfuckers are doing. I don't understand and don't want to understand, really. I want to see me on the screen. I want to get paid. Me. Watch me, not them. That's the attitude I have as a producer, right? I just want to go running and whatever and be myself. But... <laughs> I started thinking about this thing. Uh, today, today's like topic that I was studying online. I'm listening to some videos and whatever, and I'm researching about IQ tests and average intelligence and IQ levels, right? So um, I, I, I said to myself, maybe I should go take an IQ test and find out what my IQ is or whatever, right? But I later determined, after some further Googling or whatever, that in America, GRE and uh, SAT score tests, is what they called them when I was in high school back in the 90s, uh, those are actually IQ tests, the standardized tests they use for determining like your occupation, future, and shit like that. And it is actually fairly accurate. The tests wouldn't exist if they were bullshit. So I used to grow up thinking like, oh yeah, like uh, they're racially biased and everyone remembers the scene on Boys in the Hood where Ricky the football player, he has to get like a score 
of 700 or 740 or some shit, a very low score just to be accepted into college, and that's what was one of the topics of the movie was in Boys in the Hood, right? Cuba Gunning Jr., Fishburn, check that shit out. You still watch 90s movies or whatever. Boys in the Hood, great movie. Now, me personally, my, um, I, had to, I don't have to look it up. I remember my score. My SAT score was 1,030 back in high school, right? Which is not super good, but it's definitely better than what most black people get, and it's far above the average curve on the bell curve. Like, I'm on the far right of what they consider someone, uh, like, to be almost like extreme intelligence, right? Like, a motherfucker who's a surgeon or a physician, I read, is like IQ level 160. And my thing is like, my IQ is actually 117. They say that average human intelligence is like around 100 or some shit like that for Americans or whatever, but mine is like fucking like 20% higher or some shit like that. So on the internet, they have these like, uh, I'm gonna show you this shit right now. Look. What? Ah. Ah. Sorry, I hit the remote control on the TV. Shit. Anyway, this is I had to bring the camera out to show you guys this on my laptop screen because I'm too lazy to screen capture, but uh, if you guys can see the tab or this this site is called surprisinglives.net. I just googled a couple things like convert your I googled SAT to IQ converter. So you take your SAT score and you know I clicked a couple tabs and they basically you combine your V plus M like it says on the screen here verbal plus math score which mine like 1600 is considered perfect or whatever that's like you did perfect on both tests and the lowest is like I believe 400 which would be the bottom right corner of this table here as I'm scrolling right I'm not even on the right side of the column. I'm on the left side with the with the whatever. I'm like at the very near the very bottom of the left side. 1,030 right there is where I fit in in society, or at least as far as testing goes. So, standardized testing, um, my IQ at least on this thing converts to 110, 111, and just for consistency purposes or whatever. Hello. <laughs> Just for consistency purposes and whatever, control purposes, like they say in testing, I did this on like three or four other sites. So I'm looking at some right now. Um, the highest I saw was 117, and the lowest was on the low end spectrum was 107. So, okay, so let's just say that I'm like 100 and between 100 and, let's see, 107. Let's just say I'm at 110 to be fair or 117 if you want to go on the far end of it. Now why is this important, Shimmy? I want you to look at this. This is a, uh, this is how they assess you for careers and shit. Like if you want to like join Mensa and this and that and other organizations, this is like how they determine your careers. Now looking at the top of this page here, surprisinglives.net, where they look at your IQ test by jobs. If you're at the very top of the game, surgeon, physician, 161 IQ. Next, corporate exec, psychiatrist, dentist, they're in the 140s, 130s, podiatrist, judge, uh, motherfucking attorney, petroleum engineer, pharmacist, astronomer, commercial airline pilot. All these things are slightly above me. Financial planner, nuclear engineer. I'm just, just beneath fucking nuclear engineer, aerospace engineer, mathematician, economist. And I actually fit in right, right, in, right where my shit is, 117, 113 area. Look at this. Look at the range of what my career choices or my options should have been: school principal, physician assistant, electrical engineer, web developer, construction foreman, geologist, veterinarian, computer systems analyst, and uh, even on the lower end of the shit, mechanical engineer, civil engineer, industrial engineer, which is like what my dad actually does, biologist, physical therapist on the low end. And the shittiest of the shitty jobs, as we go down the list or whatever, like at the very bottom of the list, motherfuckers with really super low IQs, like in the 80s and shit, dishwasher, cashier, bartender, waiter, maid, childcare worker, retail salesman, taxi driver, chauffeur, janitor, shit like that. So, that, this shit is fairly accurate. You know, these tests these tests exist for a reason. And the whole thing that inspired me to do this here is that um, watching some more videos or whatever, they, they said that uh, on YouTube, if you have an IQ of less than 85, which is like this range of like motherfuckers who do maid, bartender, 
chauffeur, janitor, just like manual labor jobs, they will not even induct you in the US Army. Like there's literally nothing you could do if you're at the bottom 10% levels of fucking society, right? Which is pretty interesting, so. <laughs> Oh wow, look at this girl crossing the street. That's why I love these fucking balcony apartments and hotels. Wow. Wow. <laughs> gotta go out there, see? Gotta go, gotta go. Love Thailand. Anyway, oh, they're selling street food and everything in the corners today. But, um, yeah. See, I have above average intelligence. That's why I have sense enough to go to Thailand and be on holiday while you guys are in America doing God knows what. Probably watching Netflix or some stupid shit like that while I'm blogging and educating myself. Rah. So check this out, man. Um, this is another side uh, side topic here. Um, there's like probably some stereotypes that people that do, uh, people that are porn stars and sex workers and shit like that, we're not stupid, or at least I'm not stupid. Producers are not stupid, okay? If you, uh, damn it, blurry autofocus. Fucking wins. Hello, focus. Focus. This is why I said to just turn the fucking webcam on. Fucking with this camera. Okay, I'm in the box again. Yeah. So anyway, like, um, yeah, man. I have, So basically my point is not to, like, toot my own horn, but if my IQ is 117, that means I'm smarter than most of you motherfuckers who watch this shit. Like, at least I'm... In, on paper, which is provable with statistics and numbers and shit like that, my test scores and whatever equate that I'm, well, probably 30 or 35% smarter than the average motherfucker, in America at least, right? So what does that mean, Jimmy? Well, I really don't fucking know. Now, high IQ doesn't mean that I'm a good person. It doesn't mean that I'm a bad person either. It just means that I have skills or that my brain has a IQ is more or less like a, um, 